So check it out. Got this in the mail today. It's a Lionel MPC Era Atlantic. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I like the Atlantics, especially I like the looks of them. They're tough. They run really well. They're easy to work on. Came with a sound of steam and whistle, which I really like too. And it wasn't the New York Central tender. It actually came with a Chesapeake and Ohio, this tender right here. And I think that was probably from an Allegheny set. And the tender, the first thing I did was take the uh, shell off and check the uh, foam board. And of course, it was disintegrated. So I used some uh, foam board to make a new one. And I also clean up the wheels, clean up uh, the roller pickup, and also clean up the axles as well as the little uh, copper piece in there that picks up uh, power from the outside rail. So this tender works really well. The whistle sounds out really nice. But the reason I bought the Atlantic, and I got it for like $28, was I wanted it for my New York Central tender that I had made. There's a sound of steam and whistle in that. It's on a sound of steam frame. So actually the speaker sits here. So it's not really as, as loud, which actually kind of um, makes it sound a little better, I think. And I also had to clean up this Atlantic. There, right here, the bell was missing, and this somebody put glue on there. I think they tried to glue the original bell. So I used a Dremel with a um, a polishing bit to uh, remove all the glue, and then I took some Tamara uh, flat black, brushed it on, brushed on a few other places that was missing paint long here, and I think it had been dropped maybe a time or two. And then I took some Armor All and just coated the whole thing and it all blended in nicely you know you wouldn't know that there'd been any any repairs to it so i got it looking really nice got it all oiled up and got it uh also cleaned up the wheels i had to straighten uh one of the wheels back here was bent <laughs> when i went to clean them i noticed they would only roll so far so i got that fixed up pretty good and then i dug out my corning cars since i live in corning i can remember seeing these these were batch cars that would have been bringing the batch to uh Press wear where they make, you know, back in the day they made Pyrex. I guess they still make it. I think they call it, uh, the plant's called Corral now. And Corning used to be Corning Glass, but now they're in Corning Incorporated, so I'm not even sure if they uh, own any of the stock in that or not. And it's been sold a few times. But we're going to run it anyway. This is what it would have been like back in the day. So we'll take it for a spin. Here we go. little Coca-Cola that I picked up from a train show and caboose there in the end. That almost looks like it's put out of a Tucson mode or maybe a K-Line. But two of my corning cars are Lionel and the other one's K-Line and I also have a, one made by MPH that's even bigger than, than they are. I found that in an antique store over town a few years ago. This one has a really decent smoke unit in it. And we'll pick the camera up and kind of follow it around. Now this smoke unit works better than than most of them do. Yeah, they put nice and small. It really has quite a mournful sound, that whistle. All right. It's a far cry from uh, what Lionel's putting in them today, but hey, back in the day, these were top of the line, and I really enjoy them. 
That takes me back to uh, when I was a kid. So thanks again for watching. God bless. Never forget Jesus is Lord.